In this tutorial, we're going to look at a few more tools in Photoshop. Before we can do that, I've opened up this picture that we're going to manipulate for the tutorial. And it opened it up as a background. You'll notice beside that it's got a little lock. That means that this is locked and we can't do anything with it. In order to undo that, we're going to take this lock and drag it down to our recycle. So notice that goes away and it renames it layer zero. And that's fine for this particular exercise. The first tool we're going to look at is the marquee tool, which is basically just a selection tool. If you click on this and hold your mouse key down, you'll notice that you can do either a rectangle, an ellipse, or a circle, or single row, which is one pixel across. We're going to select the rectangle, and we're going to take out this side of the computer, and we're just going to keep this side. So in order to do that, we're just going to select what we want to keep, go to image and crop, and that took out everything else. In order to get rid of our marquee tool selection, you can click anywhere else over here, it'll go away. Just underneath that, you'll see that normally the lasso tool will be showing up. And the lasso tool is just a freehand marquee tool, so basically I can draw shape around something and when I let go and come back to the beginning there's the selection and I can move that or do whatever I need to do with that. If I ever want to go backwards I can go edit step backwards and that's going to take you back 20 steps uh, one at a time so there's one step backwards and if I keep clicking it'll go back 20 different steps. The um, next tool that we're going to look at, if you hold the lasso tool down and click on the magnetic lasso tool, what the magnetic lasso tool does is it tries to tell the difference between colors. So in other words, there's a dark color here on the edge of this monitor and a light color behind the wall, or on the wall here. And it's going to try to pick that up and as we select, notice how it's drawn a straight line even though I'm not exactly straight here, I'm weaving kind of up and down. It's reading those colors and it'll allow us to select certain objects a little bit easier. Now see where it jumped over on the right there? That's because there's cables on my computer are dark and uh, it doesn't know the difference between the monitor and the cables. So that'll make things a little bit easier if you're trying to do a object, especially if it's a dark object with a light background or vice versa. The next tool down is the magic wand tool. The magic wand tool allows us to click one spot and it'll select um, colors that are similar to each other. And the tolerance up here is what we change to adjust that. So for instance, we're going to go to 10, so that's not much tolerance at all, and we'll click on this this uh, wall back here because it's almost all the same color. Now notice it, it kind of cut off here because there's some shading. So if we bump this tolerance up, maybe 25, and do that again, notice it selected more of the wall. And you can mess around with that and get it to where it's just right. And notice that cut the wall pretty nicely except for this right here. If we want to add this, we simply just hold down the shift key and click right in here and it'll select colors that are similar to that. However, now we've got part of the monitor there, so you have to watch that. One of the things that we can use to help avoid that is right up here, this is adding to the selection, this is subtraction from the selection. And if you, if you hover over those, it'll tell you that. So add to the selection, subtract from the selection. So if I've got a selection, let's 30 here. And if I want to subtract from the selection, let me go to 45 so we get part of that monitor again. There we 
There we go. Now, if I want to subtract from the selection, I can bump my tolerance down, and now I can click into the monitor and notice how it takes it out of that selection. And I'm not holding shift key down while I'm doing this. And I can cut that out if I'd like. All I have to do is hit the delete key, and my wall is gone. And one of the things that we can do with this, we could actually put another picture back there. So I'm going gra to go grab a picture, and I'll be right back. All right. I've got a picture now. And what I'm going to do, I opened the picture up, just went to file open, and found the picture, and opened it up. And notice that up here in the tabs, it's open under a different tab. We want it to show up in this picture here. So I'll simply come over here, right click on my layer, click on duplicate layer, and here where it says destination, instead of Jeep, which is what I'm working on here, I want it to open up under this one. So I'll select that one, click OK. When I go back here, there's my picture. Now, it's significantly smaller than the picture I have open here. We can adjust that by going to File, excuse me, Edit, Free Transform, grab the corner, holding Shift so it keeps the proportion here. Pull it out. Now notice it pixelated. That's because my picture is so small. That's okay. And when I click off of that, it's going to ask me to apply it. I have to apply it or go back to where it was before. Now we'll do something with this picture later. So I don't want to look at this right now. I want to hide it, but I don't want to delete it. So I'm going to click on my little eyeball and make it go away. And we're going to come down here and we're going to use the next tool down. And what this tool is, is it's going to allow us to crop the monitor, but crop it so that it's flat. Right now it's at an angle. And this angle is because the picture was taken not looking straight at the monitor. So we want to make it look like we're looking straight at this monitor. So we'll click the first corner. And we'll go to the next corner. I'll go to the next corner and then the fourth corner. And once I get it the way I want it, I can move these around and manipulate them if I feel like I need to do that. And once I get it to where I want it, I click on this little check, and there's my monitor. Now, I got a little off, but you can see what it did. It flattened it out. So we're going to delete this layer, pull this back in, all right, now I'll move it to the upper left hand corner. I'm going to edit, free transform, hold my shift key down so that I don't get it out of, if I don't hold my shift key down, what happens is it'll allow me to stretch the image and it'll make the image look bad. So in order to go back and don't apply that, go back to edit, free transform, shift key, pull it out. Now, it is a little off my monitor. I can do a couple of things here. I could s s resize my monitor, so I'll come back to my layer one. Image, excuse me, edit, free transform. And I can actually push that in. 